Now, the ability to link different pages together has been part of HTML from the very beginning. The reason why was instead of creating one big large document, they wanted to be able to reference other documents. And that way, we could create an interconnected form of communication and document storage. Hence, the World Wide Web as we know it today. So, Korean Links has been around for a long time, but we've made some advances in how we present this information. And a link is very easy to write inside of a web page. So I'm going to come over here to this paragraph, and I'm just going to choose, for example, this word here to start as my link. And I can make any piece of text or even an image a link inside of a web page. So a link is just going to start with A. And as a tag, that's the key component that you have there, is it's the anchor tag, and it's represented with an A. Then I'm going to need an href. An href is not always required, but if you want to make it a link, it is. And I'm going to put in a file. So I might say, for example, sample.htm. And then I'm going to have my closing tag. And this is technically all that's necessary for a link. My A for my anchor tag, my href, short for hyperlink reference. So this is the file that we're going to point to. And then the anchor text. And the anchor text is in between my opening and closing anchor tags. Now I do have some additional attributes that I can use. For example, if I want to open this in a brand new tab or a new window, I can say target equals underscore blank. Now the target was used when we used to use a lot of frames and so it's not used very more except to say that we want to open this in a new browser instance. We also can define a relationship, an REL. And in this attribute, even though it's optional, we can specify several common properties. So for example, we might specify author, and this will take us to the author's page of who wrote this article. We might specify next or previous. So if we have a series of links down at the bottom and we want to take you to the next article or next page of articles or a previous article or articles, then we can use previous or next in order to help define that. We could have license. So if we want to link this to a license information, all we have to do is inside of the attribute value, specify what the relationship is. Now, this is completely optional, and this is most often used by things like search engines when they're crawling the web trying to figure out what's the next page that we're going to, do I need to follow this page, those types of things. So that's the basis of creating a web page. Now, by default, when I reload my screen, my anchor tag, you'll notice, has blue text, with an underline. And the reason we don't use underline in a lot of our other areas in web pages is because it makes it look like a link. With CSS, I can change this and I can change it, for example, when I hover over it. And we'll talk about those also in a future video. So this is just the beginning intro for how to use links inside of our web page.